All right, welcome everybody. So nice to have you on this beautiful Friday morning. Uh, today we're going to be doing mock bookings with i'm going to use evo plus today just because i'm having trouble logging into vax i'm having to get archer and evolution to reset that link for me but marketing for evo plus is a really good way for us to earn instant commissions all right so uh we're going into well next month is going to be the valentines so i figured that we could create a mock booking based on valentines okay um, I will screen share you guys and I will also share this information once we get to the end of our session so that you're able to utilize the images, the scripts and different things like that to make it easier for you to get your mock bookings out to the public. OK, so again, y'all, our mock bookings are just a way for us to build content for our page to show our um, our followers what we have access to. All right, y'all, my name is Brittany Maxwell. I've been with the Archer and Evolution family for almost three years. This coming May will be three years for me. Um, my mentor is Emily Jimenez, but I have uh, my own team, Vision Quest. All right, um, so y'all, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get our screen share going, and uh, we'll just go right on into Evo Plus today, okay? Um, if you don't have Evo Plus, y'all, I really do recommend getting Evo Plus because the, the deals that we can get on that site are absolutely phenomenal, okay? And who doesn't want to earn instant commission, right? Right? Yes. Like, y'all, that instant commission is... Let me explain this a little bit, okay? So the vendors that we book travel with, Vax, Disney, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, there is commission in those sites, right? We get paid those commissions after that travel takes place 30 to 90 days. But with some of our vendors like Evo Plus, Evo Rewards, we're able to charge a retention fee for our services so that we can get paid directly at the time of booking rather than having to wait for those vendors to pay out that commission, okay? So yes, market and advertise the deals that you see on Evo Plus, okay? Very good. All right, so if you guys have questions, um, you can put those out into the chat. I will pull Zoom off of of my tabs so that I have it in the little corner. So if I see any questions, I will be able to answer those going through, okay? And um, when I do my mock bookings, you guys, I usually always share the content that we create because sharing is caring, all right? Sharing is caring. So we'll go ahead and get the screen share going and we will just start, all right, everybody? Thank you so much for taking time out of your Friday to be here with me. I appreciate every one of you guys, and I'm excited to show you how I post mock bookings. All right, so let's go right on into Evo Plus. All right, so I've done a little research beforehand um, just so I can see what kind of deals we have available um, and to really just get a head start on this process, okay? So let me get my two screen shares separated so that I can go ahead and we'll start working on this mock booking, okay? So hang on, guys. It'll take just one second to get this going and we will be good, okay? All right. All right. I just want to confirm that everybody can see our screen. We should be on Evo Plus and we should be at the very top. It should say Jamaica. All right. And again, we're going to be doing um, a mock booking for around Valentine's. OK, so um, you guys just let me know that you're able to see our screen so that, you know, we are good to go on that aspect. OK, and today's session, y'all, it should only be probably about 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, just depending on the questions that we have and how long it really takes us to put this together. OK. All right. Great. Great. Good. Thank you, guys. You can see and we are good to go then. OK, so y'all, if you are new to Evo Plus, the way that you get access to Evo Plus is through the Evolution back office. OK, so in the Evolution back office, there is going to be um, an Evolution Plus tab that you will be able to click. All right. Once you click on Evo Plus, it's going to take you to a new screen. And on that new screen, it will then say get access to Evo Plus. So you'll be able to click on that and go right on into Evo Plus. Okay. 
All right, great, great guys. I'm glad you guys could see that. And thank you for confirming that for me. All right. So I was looking into some really good Valentine's Day destinations for couples and Jamaica was at the top of the list. So today I am going to use Jamaica. If you guys are working through this with me and you don't want to use Jamaica, you don't have to, okay? You can use any destination that you would like to use. Um, and if you guys use my script, you can just edit that script to just make it your own, add in the destination that you choose, okay? All right, so we're on Jamaica. And of course, when it comes to Valentine's Day, y'all, we want to try to get that all inclusive, right? All inclusive. So that's what we're going to be looking for. So I have Jamaica and I have the dates, February 11th through the 17th. And because I am doing that Valentine's Day special, right, I want to just leave it as two adults, okay? So I already have this information. So once you input your information into this little search portal, right, you just click search and it's going to give you the hotels that's going to be available for this time and this location. So the only thing that I have to do so going further, y'all, is to find that all inclusive resort. OK, so I do have one already picked out, but we're just going to scroll a little bit so you can see some of the discounts and deals that we do receive on Evo Plus. So Evo Plus, y'all, is compared to Priceline, Expedia, and Hotels.com. We get an even better rate than Evo Plus, or uh, Evo Plus gets us a better rate than Priceline, Expedia, and Hotels.com. And just to be sure of that, right, if when you choose your resort, you're able to price compare right in Evo Plus itself. So you'll see the price right here of Grand Palladium. All right, it's $3.87 per night. You can go on to Priceline and see that price difference, which it might only be, you know, $20, $30 um, per night. But sometimes on Evo Plus, y'all, we can get a savings of thousands of dollars on some of those top resorts, okay? So, and that's where our instant commissions come in, okay? We can quote our clients with our instant commission added into it so that, you know, they see that they are still receiving, receiving that discount, but we are, um, we're still, you know, able to charge that retention fee for our services. Okay. So here we have the Ocean Coral Springs Resort in Jamaica, right? This isn't all inclusive because it does say all inclusives, right? And it's 426. Let's see. Let's see what it is on Priceline. All right. So it was four. Yes, it's 426 on Priceline, as you can see here. All right. All right. If we go back to Evo Plus, all right, we can get this Ocean Coral Springs Resort for $377 per night. So we are receiving a pretty good discount on that, okay? Um, let me go back on to Evo Plus so that you guys can see Evo Plus, okay? All right, and that was Priceline, right? The price for Expedia and the price for hotels might be different, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to look at the pictures, y'all, and and the um, the stars, okay? I want to make sure that the resort that I'm go going to be putting out to the public is going to be a very good resort. I like to choose anywhere from a 3.5 or up, which this one is 3.5, but I'm just going to scroll just a little bit and see if we have a better, a better resort, okay? All right, so we have the Moon Palace in Jamaica. All right. It's only about a $40 discount, which that's still pretty good. $40 a night. The resort itself is beautiful. All right. And the reviews on the resort are 4.3, right? The stars, they're excellent. So if I don't choose this one, all right, let me just scroll just a little bit. So a lot of these resorts are inclusive, all inclusive. So that's, that's really good. Okay. So this is six nights. It's not telling us, um, the per night. Oh, yes, it does. It's a thousand dollars per night. Yeah, we're not going to put that out there. Okay. Uh, we want to, yeah. And that's another thing, y'all. We have to make sure when we're doing our mock bookings that Senyo says it's saying it's sold out when they type in Jamaica on Evo Plus. Okay. So if we find a resort that is not available, we will adjust accordingly. Okay. 
All right, so I want to kind of do a Ryu if I can find Ryu. Okay, so here's Ryu, um, all inclusive. Um, here's another Ryu, all inclusive. So that's only about a $25 discount per night, which that's still pretty good, but let's just see what we can get. All right, um, Ryu Palace Jamaica, all inclusive, adults only. All right, that's a 4.1, and this is a 4.4. Okay, so we're definitely going to choose one of these Ryu. I want to go with one of the lower priced resorts because y'all, you know, when we're showing what we have available, we want to try to get a reasonable rate for our clients. Okay, so let's see if this is available. Let's see if this Ryu um, is available. If it's not, we will adjust and we'll go from there. Okay, um, make sure you just check your dates. All right. So I have on for, let me go back up so we can see. So I have two adults for February 11th through February 17th, right? The resort that I chose, it might not be available, but we will click on it and we will see, okay? All right, let me go all the way back down. All right, so let's see if this is available for the time that we're trying to get. All right, so we're just going to click on book and it's going to pull up those details, All right, let's see. Okay, so yeah, we do have rooms available. So this is good. This is really good. All right, your standard room. Let's go all the way back up to the top and let's see which ones. Okay, so we have the standard room, king bed. All right, so it has the meal plan. All right, that's all inclusive. All right, and it is refundable, which is a really good thing to look at also, you guys. Okay, because we want to be able to make sure that our clients have some kind of um, if issues come up with their travel and they have to cancel, we want to be able to, you know, provide that refund if available. All right. So double room, one queen bed, um, free breakfast, free breakfast. All right. All inclusive. All right. Standard room garden view. All right. Let's see this standard room ocean view. Okay. That's 406 per night. All right, for six nights, it's $2,000. So let's just see, Junior Suite, 500, okay. So we can either do the ocean view or we can do the garden view, all right? So the garden view is a good bit lower price than the ocean view, okay? Um, but I mean, honestly, y'all, if you're going to Jamaica, you would really kind of want that ocean view room Right. So let's go. But I'm trying to do a lower price again. Right. So let's just go with the garden view because it is that lower priced rate. OK, so it's a king bed, free breakfast, free breakfast. Right. And it has the meal plan, the all inclusive um, and it is refundable. OK, so let's click on book and we'll provide these details. OK, the only reason I'm clicking on book is so I can get that that entire summary. All right. Let me make the screen just a little bit bigger. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. All right. So yes, it's got my information on there, uh, but we're just looking at the price, really. Okay. We're looking at the price. Okay. All right. So we have Ryu, all inclusive. All right. Very good. Beach. All right. It's from February 11th until February 17th. It's a six night stay, all inclusive fully refundable. All right. And if we want to get a little more information about that cancellation policy, right, here's that cancellation policy, right? It says between Saturday, May 16th, 2020 at 5 p.m. and Thursday, February 8th at midnight local time, you may cancel your reservation for a full refund, right? After Thursday, February 8th, you are not allowed to change or cancel your reservation. If you cancel your reservation, you will still be charged the full amount. Okay. So they would have until February 8th of, <clears throat> of this year to cancel before they would be required to still pay that full amount, all right? So that's good. They would have a couple of days right before travel just in case any mishaps come up, okay? All right, so what we'll do, y'all, all right, we will go ahead and start building a mock booking based on this, okay? So there are a couple of different ways that you can build this into a mock booking, you can take images directly from one of the vendor sites, like the lobby, the outside, the beach, okay? Or you could go onto Canva and you can create a flyer, 
All right. So today, because we're not really what we can do is we can go back and we will get a couple of the images to put onto this flyer. OK, so I will just screenshot those images from my desktop so that I'm able to put those on our um, on our flyer. OK, so let's get some of these images, y'all. All right. So here's all the photos that they have. Okay, let's let me make my screen just a little bit smaller just in case we have any questions. Okay. All right. So up at the top, we have all of our photos within this vendor. I am going to use the photos from this vendor. All right, because I don't want to use Google images because I want to be able to put this on Google. Uh, so we'll just use some of the photos that we find in this site. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start taking some of these screenshots, y'all. All right, so we can click see all photos and it's gonna give us, all right, so we have one main photo, exterior photos, there's 10, right? There's the restaurant photos, um, the photos from the rooms and the activities, like their pool and different things like that, right? So when you're getting images from the vendors, you really want to get images that are very appealing, okay? Because when we're posting our images on and we're posting our mock bookings on social media, that's really what is going to pull in our potential clients, right? Are the images, okay? Because anytime we're doing our own shopping, we, a lot of the times we go by the images before we actually get that information, okay? So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to pick images that I believe is good, all right? If I pick a photo that you don't like, y'all, that's okay, okay? You go back through and you pick the images that you would like to put out onto social media because what I like might be completely different from what you like, right? So we'll just start getting this information and I really want to get one of the nice pool images, but also um with the beach okay so let's get this we'll just scroll through a little bit and see what they have available as far as these really nice images and because i am doing a couple y'all i'm not going to put in the images of the splash park for the kids or anything like that okay <clears throat> excuse me y'all if you hear me cough please forgive me all right all right so let me go back i want to get to spa all right, let me just save this image. All right, I'm going to get the images first, and then we will start building this content for our page. Okay, let me save this image. All right, and let me find a really good bull and beach photo. Okay, um, I like that one, but I also like this one. So I'm just going to grab both of them. All right, let me save these images. So we'll probably put anywhere from four to six images on social media, uh, just depending on what, you know, everybody is different. What I do might not be what you want to do, okay? All right, so everybody does mock bookings differently, y'all. The way that they build mock bookings and put them onto social media are going to be different. You will find your groove and the way that you like to do your mock bookings, all right? All right, so let me just grab one more of these really nice pull images. And I like that one. I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay, no. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. All right, let me save this image. And then, all right. So let's go into the accommodations. And I believe we had just the deluxe room. Let me just double check. All right. Standard room. Oh, garden view. OK, so, yeah, we're going to get this image right here and I'm just going to save it directly from this. All right. Yeah, it won't let me do it like that. So let me just grab it from the accommodations. All right. Accommodations. All right. Let me save this image. Save image as. All right, and let's look at the exterior. Maybe we'll find a great exterior image to add in there also. All right, yeah, I like this one, uh, but we'll scroll just a little bit so we can see, okay? All right, just giving a look, you guys. 
right? I like this image, I'm gonna save this, right? And we're gonna get one more of this outside image, okay? So I think I'm gonna go with one of these. Right? I love the beach, y'all. Um, so I really wanna have that beach in there with it. Okay, let's look at this one. All right, we're gonna go with this one, save image. All right, so we have our images that I am going to put onto social media today, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave it right here on this page until we get all the information that we need. And then we will click on book and we'll be able to get that exact detail, okay? So the next step y'all is going to be going on to our social media. All right. If you want to use Canva to build a flyer, just go on to Canva and you can build the flyer, add the images directly <laughs> from Canva. All right. So we're just going to keep it right here at the garden view. All right. So let me get my. Let me get my social media pulled up. All right, I'm just going through and looking at that. Sorry about that delay, you guys. All right, so let me get my social media pulled up and we can start building this content and putting it onto social media. What I really like to do, you guys, is I like to have a little help when it comes to the verbiage that we use to put onto social media, okay? So we are going to use chat GPT for today. Okay. So let me get on over to my business page and I'll show you what I do with and how I use chat GPT to build this content. All right. So here we are on my business page. So this is where I'm going to start that posting. Okay. So I have the images that I'm going to put onto social media. So I can go ahead and start adding those images to the post. And then we will go in and build the verbiage, okay? All right, so let's just get some of these images. All right, so I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So we can use all eight images or we can just slim it down, okay? So let's start. I know you can't see the little pop-up that just popped up with the images. Um, <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. Okay. You're about to see them on social media. All right. So we're going to do the outside images of the pool. All right. And then we're going to click on the room. All right. And of course we want the spa. Right. And there is an image that I want to use that I did not get from this vendor. Okay. So I'll show you what I did. Okay. All right, let's click on plus three and let's see. Okay, it won't let me click on them to see them, but all I did was I added in an image of a couple that were sitting on the beach and they have a drink in their hand and they're just kind of like toasting each other, okay? Um, you'll see that once it actually gets posted, okay? All right, so now is the fun part. We get to build our verbiage on for our mock booking. Okay. So this is where y'all, we kind of, you know, go back and forth a little bit from the vendors to chat GPT. Um, and we will go ahead and get that started. Okay. So let me screen share with our Evo plus, just making sure that we are on that same page Evo plus, All right? We're going to do the garden view today. Okay. Cause that's the image that we save. All right. So what I like to do is I type in chat GPT, you guys. Okay. Give me one second and let me get chat GPT open. All right. If you don't know what chat GPT is, right, let me put a link out into the chat for you. Okay. Chat GPT is like an AI technology y'all where it helps us build. Actually, you can use it for really anything. Okay. All right. Let me copy. And I'll put this link out there for you. It is awesome. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> There's the link for ChatGPT. And it is so helpful, y'all. It can help you build verbiage for your page. You can use it to help with content, um, anything, and really, honestly, everything. Okay. All right. So 
what we're going to do, all right, we're doing a travel sales post to Jamaica. All right, and it is going to be for all-inclusive Valentine's and for a couple. I know it's a little a little weird how I did it, but it's okay. I'll watch. It's going to it's going to populate some really good stuff, okay? All right. So, here we go, right? All I typed in was travel sales post to Jamaica for all inclusive Valentine's for couple. Y'all, it gives you emojis. It gives you a script. It gives you everything to make our job that much easier. Okay. So whatever you use guys, I highly recommend chat GPT or any other kind of AI technology, right? Because it helps y'all. It helps so much. And if we have these tools, why not utilize this, right? Why not get the help? Okay. It makes our posts catchy. It Look at it, right? Escape to paradise for a romantic Valentine's getaway. Are you dreaming of the perfect Valentine's retreat with your someone special? I'm not going to read it all, y'all, because it's a lot, right? And all you have to do is copy this information, okay? Take it to a notepad and make it your own. Add in your website. Add in the information for the actual booking, the hotel. Um, but I leave off the hotel, y'all, because I want those clients to reach out to me for the name of that hotel, okay? So I'm going to leave off the name of the hotel, but I will add in all inclusives, okay? So let's copy this information, right? Let's open our notepad, all right? And we will get this all built together. Okay. So let me stop the screen share for just one second, y'all. And let me screen share my entire desktop. So you'll be able to see the notepad that I am working on. Okay. So let me stop the screen share and I'm going to re-screen share so that you can see the entire desktop that I have going. Okay. All right. So we have entire screen. All right, let's click on entire screen. Hopefully you will still be able to hear me, All right? You should still be able to hear me, okay? No, you can't. All right, so that didn't work. Let me re-screen share a different way, okay? So let's do window and here is the page. Okay, all right, to share audio, share a tab or screen screen instead. Okay. So let me see if you'll be able to hear me once I click on this. All right. You guys, I know it's a little glitchy and I don't know why it does that, but can you still hear me? I just want to make sure that you are still able to hear me, but you can see the little notepad that we have up. Yes. We yes. Can see you and hear you. Good, 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 great, great. Okay, I don't know why it glitches like that. I really don't. Um, okay, maybe it's because it was small. All right, so now we have this information. So we're just going to start making it our own, right? We're going to add in the dates. We're going to add in any information that we would like to put out there, okay? And y'all, at the very bottom, notice how I have unlock your dream getaway, secure today's rate, Price may vary based on availability and dates. By having this little script right here in all of your posts, it's going to save you anytime. Let's say you create a mock booking, right? And you share this into the different groups and you have someone that reaches out to you, you know, a week after you share the mock booking, right? If those prices are going to fluctuate. So having this script into all of your posts is going to save you if someone reaches out to you two weeks down the line, okay? All right, so let's say Escape to Tropical Paradise, Valentine's Getaway. Are you dreaming of the perfect Valentine's retreat? All right, destination, Jamaica. Unwind on pristine beaches. Stroll hand in hand along the turquoise waters and indulge in vibrant Jamaica. Valentine's special inclusion, luxury accommodations. Um, all right, so these aren't included, okay? So, but we could take off this information right here, okay? We're just going to leave it as luxury accommodation, couples massages, right? Gourmet dinner, because this, the 
it is all inclusive, but your massages are not going to be included. That's going to have, that will be a separate price. Okay. Exciting opportunities. And that's something that they will have to pay at the resort, right? Sunset dinners on the beach. We want to make sure that whatever we put on there, it goes with our mock booking. So there will be stuff that you take out of the script that G chat gpt t does build for you okay and that's one of the main reasons why we go through our verbiage several times to make sure that we're not putting out onto social media something that we don't have available okay all right and as far as the horseback riding all right i'm sure we could get access to that through viator but we still want to make sure that whatever we're putting out onto social media it goes with our mock booking, we're not lying. We're not saying something, you know, that we don't know that we have available, right? So nightly entertainment, dance the night away. We're going to take that off as well. All right, so we have limited availability. Secure your spot. Book now, right? For an all limited packages available for the rom rom most romantic time of the year, right? Um, don't just give a gift. Give an experience. Make this day extraordinary. All right. Okay. So let me stop the screen sharing because that glitch is killing me. And then we will go back onto our Evo plus y'all and we will start building this for our page. Okay. All right. So let's go to Chrome tab. Let's go to Evo plus screen share. And this is where we'll start getting this information to put onto social media. All right. So we have the garden view room, all right? So we're going to click on garden view standard room, all right? So it, we do have the destination as Jamaica, all right? So we're going to do all-inclusive resort, all right? All right, I will show you guys the script once we put it back on the social media, but I know if that glitching was going on on my side, you probably could see that also, okay? All right, and let's do the dates, okay? All-inclusive resort, standard garden view, standard room garden view. All right, and the dates were February 11th to February 17th. All right, so it's six nights. All right, so we have February 11th to February 17th, all-inclusive resort, standard room. Garden view, standard room, okay? All right, and that was at the price of 367 per ninth, okay? So I'm going to leave it as the per night rate, right? And we're just going to copy this right here, all right? Copy. And that's, we're going to put that into our script that we are going to put onto social media, all right? 367 per night, all right? And what I want to do, y'all, I want to go back one page, okay? And I want to see what the difference is going to be with Priceline. All right, so let's go back to that search result. All right, and let's go on to Priceline and see what this price is going to be. Okay, so Evo Plus, we're at $352 per night for just the standard room, all right? On Priceline, we're at $380 per night. Okay. So what I'm going to do in the script that I am creating for social media, all right, I'm going to put that price difference. Okay. So that price difference, let me go back onto Evo and let me just double check. All right. So here I'll show you what price line so you can see it also. Okay. So this is just for their standard room. Okay. 380 on price line. All right. On Evo plus we're looking at 352 for a standard room. All right. And we have it as 367. Okay. So let's do 380 minus 367. 
All right. So that's like $12 discount, but I still want to make sure um, that I have it correct. 380 minus 367. It's a $13 discount. Okay. All right. So what we can do is we can say discounted rate compared to price line. All right. So that's what I'm going to put into, into that. All right. I know it's not a lot, y'all, but I mean, $13 a night that, you know, that does add up $13 discount compared to Priceline. All right. If you don't want to put the actual discounted price on there, I know it's only $13. You don't have to, right? You can just say discounted price compared to Priceline. All right. All right, so we have the information that we want to put on there, okay? So our call to action, all right? Our call to action is going to be call us, all right? Visit our website, okay? The only way for them to receive this is for them to reach out to us, okay? So we have the information. Let me put in my phone number on this script, you guys. All right, and let me put my website because on my website, I do have a quote form that they're able to fill out because sometimes people, you know, sometimes people don't feel comfortable just giving you a call. And that's why we give several different ways for them to reach out to us. Okay, I say call us at 985, my phone number, visit us at um, to reserve your spot or email. So that's three different ways that they're able to get in contact with me. All right, once I put this on to uh, the social media, y'all, I will share so you'll be able to see this script also, okay? All right, let's see. Let me just copy this. Copy. And let's go back onto our social media page. Okay, so we have our images already picked out, right? So I did not put in the name of the resort, okay? I want them to reach out to me for the name of that resort, all right? So here's my call to action. Call us, visit our website, or email us, all right? So this is the verbiage that we put in, and this is the information that we took from Evo Plus, okay? Y'all, I did not add in a retention fee, okay? Because there's only a $13 discount, right? But if you're wanting to add in a retention fee, you can say, um, all right, so it's six nights. All right, so it's six nights that they are going to be for this specific, all right? And it's $13 a night. That's $78 discount, right? You can charge a $50 retention fee and still be able to save your client a little bit of money, okay? All right? You don't have to add that into the total price per night, all right? You can just add in a little script right here that says $50 retention fee not included price, all right? $50 retention fee not included into the price, okay? All right, that way you have your price out there. It's not included into the fee and they know in, in this first post right here that you see, right? right? It's not included. I don't know why it's not highlighting. There we go, all right? So it's 367 per night, discount compared. Let's do discounted rate compared to price line. A $50 retention fee not included in the price, okay? So that right there is a way for you to make sure that you get your instant commissions at the time of booking, okay? And your client knows that you're gonna charge a $50 retention fee, all right? If you don't like the word retention, you don't, you don't have to use retention. You can use service fee, you can use reservation fee, you can use booking fee, okay? But if you're wanting to charge your client a fee, make sure it's in there, okay? All right, $50 retention, not included in that price. And I'm just going to leave that, y'all. I'm going to leave that, all right? 
All right, so there we go. There's our post. We have our images. And right here, unlock your dream getaway. Secure today's rate. Prices may vary based upon availability and dates, okay? So there we go. That is information that we put out on the social media, all right? Absolutely wonderful. Chat GPT helped so much. And we just click post, right? And it's going to post to my business page. All right, let's add that button. All right, the phone number. And they are posting, okay? So, y'all, when it comes to our mock bookings, we want to share to the groups, okay? All right, so if you are new to your business page, you might not have a lot of followers yet, okay? So sharing to the different groups in social media, that's going to help your content be seen, okay? So this is the script that we used, y'all, for Valentine's, all right? And these are the images. I'll show you the image that I put on there that's not from Evo Plus. This right here with them toasting, that did not come from Evo Plus. That actually came from Vax, but I love that picture. So I would just save it and I use it anytime I do a couples. Okay. All right. And there's the images that we use. Nice images, nice post. Okay. So how I share to the groups, y'all. All right, I change over to my personal page, okay? Because I am uh, associated and connected with more groups from my personal page than I am with my business page, okay? So how I do this is I make sure that I am logged into my personal page, okay? So this is my personal page and this is my business page, okay? I'm on my business page through my personal page. All right, so I'm just going to copy this information right here, copy, and then I'm going to go down to the share tab, right? So we have share now. This is going to go to my page, okay? So I am going to share that to my page also, but I'm my personal page, but I'm also going to go into our groups, all right? You should be connecting yourself with five groups a day, all right? So that by the end of the week, you're connected to, you know, anywhere from 20 to 30 new groups a week. OK, adding yourself to new groups is going to be beneficial because that's that constant flow of new people seeing your content. And some of the groups that we can get connected in have a huge following. 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, sometimes even 75 to 100,000 members in these groups, okay? So that just makes it to where your content is going to be seen by all sorts of different potential clients, right? Right? And so there's the verbiage that we built, and I just copy and paste this onto the groups, click post, and that's going to be sent to my first group, all right? So that was the Gulf Coast buy and sell. When you're sharing into the groups, y'all, I recommend that you make note of the groups that you share in. So you're not sharing to the same groups every post, right? So what I like to do is I like to start at the top, right? And I count and work my way down, right? So this is in Baton Rouge. I missed it. That was the very first one, All right? So I've shared into two groups already, right? Um, I usually stop at about eight to 10 groups because I don't want to be listed as spam, okay? So let's share to a group, right? We did Baton Rouge, we did Gulf Coast. Now we're gonna do the Craigslist for Louisiana, all right? This is gonna be the Baton Rouge area, all right? And let's click post. Now that's three groups already, right? So throughout today, I'll share to, you know, 10 to 15 groups sometimes up to 20. I only do about eight at one time because I don't want to be um, marked as spam, all right? So we did Baton Rouge, Gulf Coast, uh, the Marketplace, Craigslist, all right? Let's do North Mississippi, all right? This is four, all right? I'm not gonna do all of them right now, y'all, because I know you guys don't wanna sit and watch me do that, but I'm just giving you guys an understanding of, you know, once you build mock bookings and any content that you build for your page, you definitely want to share into the groups, okay? The more people that's going to see your content, all right? All right, so let's go back on to Zoom, y'all. All right, let's see, let's see. All right, what verbiage did I use for chat GPT? Good question. So when I went on to chat GPT, let me share this page with you real fast, okay? 
So I asked for, oh, I didn't put hashtags, y'all. I forgot to add those hashtags in, all right? But definitely add hashtags to your post, okay? So let me screen share this with you so you can see chat GPT, all right? All right, so at the very top, I said, travel sales post to Jamaica for all-inclusive Valentines for couples, all right? Um, if you type out something for ChatGPT and it doesn't give you exactly what you are looking for, you can redo it, all right? You can redo it as many times as you need to until you get the verbiage that you want, okay? All right, and how do you open a business page on Facebook? That's another great, great question. Let me show you how to do that. It's so easy to create a business page, okay? So let me share this tab with you and let me go to my home page, okay? All right, so you can either go to your home, which I'll do that, I'll go to home, okay? So I'm on my laptop, you guys, all right? So in order for you to create a page, right? All right, it's a little different on my laptop than what it is on my phone, all right? So let's click on the menu tab, okay? All right, let's see. All right, in your menu tab, you will have a pages tab, okay? Click on pages, right? All right, you can create a new page. Right? You want your business page to be connected to your personal page, all right? And if you want to get branch up connected, you have to have a page that's connected to your personal page, okay? So home, click on that menu tab. If you're on a desktop or laptop, your menu might be on the left-hand side, okay? If it's on that left-hand side, you're just going to find pages, okay? Right, you're just going to click on pages and create a new page, right? And make sure that, you know, you get branch up connected to your business page, okay? All right. All right, Nicole, so you don't have to share to groups that you don't want to. Right. No, you don't have to share to groups that you don't want to. So you get to choose the groups that you want to share in. All right. So here I have a couple of groups that you can start getting connected in. What I recommend doing, y'all, is go into groups that are around you, your local area. All right. And also you can get connected with groups that aren't in your area. All right. So I'm located in Louisiana, but I still add myself to groups in Mississippi. Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, right? So that I am still marketing outside of my local area. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So here is the groups that you can get connected in. Okay. These are just some of the groups that you can get connected in. All right. Let me do everyone in meeting. All right. Let's see. All right. So we do have a couple questions. Let me go back through. All right. So Right, Tierra, let me see. Uh, you do have a question about cancellations. Let me see if I can find that. All right, so wait, wait. This is when they cancel, if they cancel. Um, what the little verbiage that I put on the bottom that said, unlock your dream getaway, secure rates today, price may vary. Um, I add that little verbiage in just in case someone reaches out to me two weeks from now for this specific resort. Right. If they reach out to me two weeks from now, there's a really good possibility that those rates may change. OK, they might go up. They might go down. Right. But I add that in just in case that saves me. Right. So I'm not looking like, you know, I'm trying to. You know, swindle somebody. Right. Yeah, absolutely. All right, y'all. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, yeah. Nicole, when you have a second, what is branch up? You haven't heard of them yet. OK. Nice. That's okay, right? Y'all, branch up. If you have not got branch up connected, it is a travel agent's best friend, all right? And I say this because branch up provides content for your page on Facebook daily. Three times a day, they will post content to your page, okay? Um, on LinkedIn, so you can get branch up connected to your Facebook business page and you can get branch up connected to your LinkedIn business page. 
and they will also provide email newsletters for you. Okay. Let me go on to branch up real fast and I will show you what branch up is. Okay. So I've had branch up. This is one of the first things that I did after I got my business pages set up. Okay. So on my Facebook business page and my LinkedIn and the email marketing. All right. So I only have 21 emails uh, connected to the email marketing, right? That's a work in progress. Okay. But uh, Facebook, all right, let's go to the post on Facebook and you'll be able to see the content that's scheduled out for today. All right. So this one is scheduled for today at two, right? When you get, excuse me, y'all, when you get branch up connected, or once you start that registration process, you will be able to choose the content that is put on your page. Okay. And once you do get everything set up and connected, if you see a post that you don't like, you can delete it, right? If you see verbiage that you don't like, you can edit it, right? If you see content that you want to be posted right now because that's something that you want on your page ASAP, you can click post now. It is absolutely amazing, right? Especially if you are really new to the travel industry and new to marketing and advertising, this helps put content on your page, okay? And also, you can share all of the content that Branch Up puts on your page to the groups, just like we do with the mock bookings, okay? And what I love about Branch Up, y'all, is their little mini sites, all right? So you see this one right here, Madagascar is home to half of the world's chameleons, including this little cutie. So cute, so cute, it is. This is just an image, okay? But to this one right below, this is from Ama Waterways. This is like a little mini site. Let me click on this and I'll show you this little mini site, okay? So once you start registering for Branch Up, you'll be able to input your details, your name, your business, your uh, your email, your messenger, your website, okay? So that anybody that clicks on these little mini sites, they will be able to see all of what Ama Waterways is offering through this post, okay? They provide images, absolutely beautiful. Ama Waterways is one of my favorite river cruises, okay? I have not been on them yet, but I'm looking forward to going one day, okay? But this is just a little mini site. Um, Branch Up does really good creating little mini sites for uh, not just Emma Waterways, but for celebrity, Royal Caribbean, all right? We'll go back on to Branch Up and I'll show you a couple more of the posts that I have um, on that's going to be scheduled out for our social media. Okay. Like I said, some of them are just pictures, but Branch Up provides the verbiage that you see, right? A lot of them will even have hashtags that, you know, hashtags are really big for social media. All right. And Intrepid Travel, this is a mini site. So once they click on this little mini site, it'll give them more details about the tours, the activities, the trips that this particular post is offering. Okay. All right. This is going to be image tours. Right. And what re what's really amazing about Branch Up 2, y'all, is that you have the option to get connected through these vendors if they're not located in the Evolution or the Archer uh, Suppliers tab, which a lot of the vendors are we're, we're able to get access to through the um Archer's Travel tab. Right. Emma Waterways, Carnival. Right. But some of these like. Um, intrepid travel. I'm not sure that that is in Archer Travel, but you can get connected with these vendors so that if you are <clears throat> if you are seeing marketing and advertising through one of the vendors that you see here, you will still be able to get access to them. Okay, you just click on this, like Unicruise Adventures, Viking Cruise. Okay, you can click on any of these and you can register just like you would register with any of the vendors in the Archer Travel Suppliers tab, okay? All right, so let's click on, all right, let's do Ultimate Jet Vacations and see, all right? I do not believe this is located in um, Archer Travel, which I'm already registered for these, so let's see. All right, so we'll share this tab with you so you can see. This is... All right. Um, enhance your booking. Right. So at the top, you'll have a login and register tab. Right. You're just going to click on that login and register tab and you'll be able to input all of your details. 
if it'll ever come up. There we go. So I'm already registered with this, all right? So you just click register, all right? Identifier type, all right? That's going to be the IATA number. The identifier number, that's going to be Archer's IATA number, all right? Um, and then you'll input your travel agent details. You register pretty much the same way you would with any of our other vendors, okay? Um, let's see. You do not have to use Jamaica. You can stay within the state. So, y'all, mock bookings are um, what you want to put out to the public, okay? Branch up is completely free. Yes. Um, uh, I will put Archer's IATA number out into the chat, okay? I don't want to say that because we are still recording. All right? So... There we go. There's Archer's IATA number, and we will stop sharing. Stop. All right. Yeah. So, y'all, are you good to go? You have a basic understanding of what mock bookings we are. Uh, here I will put that sign up link in the tr in the chat for you. Okay. So that was what was it? Um, let me ultimate jet vacations. Let me grab this for you. Copy. All right, and I will put that out into the chat for you. All right, and I'm going to stop the recording also, okay? All right, and there is Ultimate Jet Vacations, right? So, y'all, when it comes to the vendors, if you want to work with a vendor that's not located in Archer Travel Supplier tab, you can still get access to the vendors that you want to work with, okay? Um, just make sure that any vendor that you work with, you find that commission payout, okay? Because we want to make sure that we are getting paid for the services that we provide, right? And if you are working with a vendor that does not pay out commission, that's when you charge a retention fee, a service fee, a reservation fee for your service, okay? Because at the end of the day, y'all, we want to get paid for everything that we do, right? We really do. <laughs> All right, y'all, give me one second. Let me stop this recording.